Yo, yo, Spectre here. Are you having issues with your final renders coming out with a black background in Blender? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to fix that. First, open up Blender. Then go over to your output properties, scroll down, and on output, select file format. Chances are you have it at FFmpeg video, and then switch it over to PNG. Then here on the color, switch it over to RGBA, and then on color depth, choose 16, and then go over to your render properties and then go down to film and where it says transparent, make sure that that's selected. Right before rendering, something to keep in mind is that your compositing area needs to be empty. If you do have any notes going on, your actual final render is gonna have the black backgrounds. Then when you're ready, you can actually start rendering. Then pull up your folder where you have your individual PNG files and it should look something like this where every single frame has been made into a PNG. First, I will demonstrate using DaVinci Resolve. So pull up DaVinci Resolve then pull up a new project or you can also click on untitled project then right click and then create new timeline then unclick use project settings then go over to format and you can change the frame rate here i'm using 60 for my sequence of images so i'll choose 60. then here on your timeline resolution do 1080p or whatever resolution you've selected with your camera on blender and then here, use vertical resolution. I have it as vertical for TikTok and Instagram. Then hit create. Then go over here to where it says media. Then up here where you have these three dots, click it and then go over to frame display mode. And then make sure that sequence is selected. Then hit control I. And then you're going to have to find or look for your folder where you have every single sequence of the images that were created using the PNG. Click on one and then hit control A and that it will select all of them. Then hit open. Go over to edit mode. Then bring down the file. And then if you hit the space bar, you're going to see that it's kind of in a slow motion effect right now. Right click. Then go over to change clip speed. And then here on speed, you can double it. Do 200. Now if you hit space, you can see that the animation is now playing. And if you don't like the speed, you can just change the speed again and then switch it to your liking. Maybe 250 was better. And that looks a little bit more like my actual work on Blender. Now you want to add the background that you want onto your file. So you can actually bring this up. And then I'll just drag over one of the files that I have for as a video background. And then here, I'm just gonna zoom it in. Now here, I'm gonna make a duplicate to kind of extend the length of my video. Now if I hit play, you can see now that the actual video file and animation is transparent and no longer has those black backgrounds here on DaVinci Resolve. And here, I'm just gonna remove this extra piece And it's pretty much ready to export. So all I gotta do is go over to the deliver tab here. And I can just rename the file. And then here on your location, you can also just find somewhere where you wanna export it to. I'll have it on my desktop. And then here in your file format, you can select QuickTime or MP4. I'll switch over to MP4. And then the frame rate is 60. Um, pretty much everything is the same. And then down here, it says add to render queue. Click it. And then over here on the right side, just hit render all. And it's going to render. Now it's pretty much finished. Now let's try it using Adobe Premiere. So open up Adobe Premiere. Then click new project. And then just rename it to whatever you want. Then click create. Then down here on import media to start, select it and then do control I. Then select your folder where you had those image sequences. Select one and then down here where it says image sequence, make sure to have this checked. Then hit open. And then drag this over to your media. Then if you hit space, it's kind of similar to DaVinci Resolve where it's kind of a, in a slow motion. You can just right click it. Then go over to speed duration 
and you can increase this over try 250 then if you hit the space bar that look kind of the same as the other one and then also control C and then control V to kind of make it a little longer and now let's move these up then look for your video background and I'm gonna also import the same one that I had earlier and the same thing here I can just select the actual file zoom it in then I can just go back and if I hit the space bar it's the same thing as DaVinci Resolve just depends on which platform you like the best right now I'm currently using more of DaVinci Resolve and it's free and then here I'm just gonna remove this extra piece from the video and it's ready in my opinion so I'm gonna go over to file and then go to export and then media and then here you can also select where you want to have it saved over I'll just have it on my desktop and then make sure that you can stick with mp4 and you can also switch the preset but mine is pretty much good to go because it's matching my resolution for my camera in blender and then go over to export now it's pretty much done and there you have it guys that is how to remove the black backgrounds from your blender animations using adobe premiere and also davinci resolve and if this has helped you in any way shape or form please leave a like comment and subscribe also please make sure to follow me on my social medias it is at spectre 3d and also if you have any recommendations please drop it down in the comments below and thanks for watching